I'm a Namaste guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Wednesday morning here in Denver, Colorado. It is 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. We're jumping on for our daily dose of growth. Challenge is designed to grow your soul and help you become a better person each and every day. Lizzie, Atma Namaste. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Joanna, Atma Namaste. The light is bright in these eyes this morning. Lori, Atma Namaste. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so... It dawned on me this morning, right? Remember how we look for our challenges to be inspired so I don't plan out the challenges really in advance? Suresh, I'm in Namaste. So I look for something to inspire, inspire, inspire. And so I woke up this morning. I was like, aha, that inspires me. And it stretches me to share it with you guys. Most of my stretching is in the evenings when we go over the higher teachings and practices. Jessica, I'm in Namaste. Um, So for those logging on for the first time, wondering what this is, every single day at 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time, we do a 15-minute challenge that you have 10 hours to do, and the challenge is designed to stretch you, to grow you, to evolve you, to get you out of your comfort zone to become a better soul and a better person. So far, so good, right? And our challenge for today, we have 20, this is our 23rd challenge, and the goal is to do about 60 challenges um, over a two-month period. And our challenge for today, make sure you have your, Tina, I'm gonna say, you have your notebook, right? You have your notebook with your challenges. Keep track of your challenges. Chrissy, I'm gonna say, keep track of your challenges. So write out, okay, challenge number 23, this is what we're doing. Good morning, Karen. I'm gonna say, you snuck on. So write out, right, your challenges. Okay, so challenge 23, 24, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, et cetera, right? Adriana, I'm a namaste. Um, as a way of developing awareness, so then when you write out the challenge, and then in the evening at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, when we review and you have your awareness before, during, and after the challenge, you can go, okay, what did I get from that? And then it's the action point. So the reason we came up with these challenges 23 days ago is because practical spirituality is what anchors things into your life. Have you ever heard of spiritual people being flighty, being flaky, being spacey, space cadets, airy-fairy, all over the place, right? It's a function of them not being grounded, which means practical. So they're studying very, very high-level things. So an example would be somebody like um, an astrophysicist or an astronomer or people that deal with the cosmos, a cosmetologist. Right, cosmolo- cosmologist, <laughs> cosmetologist is someone that just with makeup, not what we're looking at. Those people are activating their upper chakras, especially their forehead chakra, all day long. So they are not grounded people in general, right? They're not grounded people in general. So, but then you have people who are athletes, people who work on Wall Street. I used to work on Wall Street, um, I was in sales in the Trump Tower. 40 Wall Street is the address I used to work at. Um, People that are in sales, people that are in sports, people that are in um, dance, people that use their physical bodies are very grounded people, very practical people. I've noticed a lot of spiritualized people that aren't Hatha Yogis are not very grounded people. That's why Hatha Yogi practitioners or Kundalini Yoga practitioners tend to be very grounded people because they're spiritual practices entail a lot of physical work, right? So when we share these teachings with you guys and we have these challenges with you guys, we're trying to go, how can you apply this on a regular basis? How can you apply this on a regular basis? Like, okay, here's the principle, here's the spiritual truth, here's the challenge, that's cool, but how can I apply that on my day-to-day life to improve the quality of my life? There's a joke in Pranic Healing (laughs) Uh, with one of the masters that he likes to talk about the yugas, the yugas, not because it's practical, but because it's interesting to to know and understand because he's talking about the law of cycles. But the joke is that the yugas are thousands and thousands and thousands of years, 250,000 years, 25,000 years, million plus years of something taking time to go through a full cycle. That's not practical for our everyday lives. What is the purpose of studying a 250,000 year cycle? Not practical, right? But what about a cycle, Chris Atmanamaste, that happens daily, weekly, 
quarterly, annually, every seven years, wouldn't that be more practical in improving the quality of your day-to-day -day life? Yes. So that's why these challenges are connected to practical spirituality. We can talk about the very, very high-level things, super high-level spiritual concepts at another time, right? At another time. These challenges are designed for practical spirituality. Maybe at some other point we'll offer those things. My specialization is not like the very, very high level spiritual concepts and the higher level understandings of spiritual concepts. Mine is give me the truth. How can I apply that truth to this day, to this week, to this month, to this year to improve my life? That's more my specialization. I can point you in the direction of those teachers that can give you very, 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 very high level spiritual concepts that are so high level, A, you're not going to be able to get most of it, B, you're going to fall asleep during most of it. Very interesting. That's a story for another day. So are you ready for the challenge for today? Our challenge 23, challenge 23, bam, get out a pen. Actually, no, you do this however you guys want to do it. So you can use a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, a paintbrush. That would be kind of cool. And then the appropriate piece of paper. And I want you to draw, paint, yeah, either draw or paint a picture of love. That's it. Well, not it for the challenge. And I want you to sign it, because every great artist signs their artwork. I want you to take a picture of it, and I want you to put it on Facebook and tag me so I can see it. That's our challenge for today. Uh, you guys like that challenge. Good, good, good. Okay, make sense? And then you, you say, well, how long do we have to do it? Well, the challenge is 15 minutes. So if you can do it within 15 minutes, Great, awesome, phenomenal. We're not looking for the next uh, what have you. Uh, what is it, Rembrandt? But if you wanna spend more than 15 minutes, you're more than welcome to. So these challenges are 15 minutes long. So if you wanna spend two hours and you have the time to get after a beautiful piece of, um, a beautiful painting, a beautiful drawing, you're more than welcome to. But at 15 minutes, meaning no matter what, you have to post something by the end of the day, right? You can't say, well, it's not done, therefore I can't post it. Do you mind stick figures? Absolutely. <laughs> Lori says, oh boy. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna share with you some embarrassing things about myself that I'm not proud of later on this evening, connected to today's challenge. That's why I think part of this challenge was being inspired. Remember, I'm growing along with you guys during these challenges, I'm just growing in different ways in these challenges, okay? So the challenge again, challenge number 23 for today, set your timer to 15 minutes, get out the right thing that you want to use to color, draw, so a marker, a pencil, a pen, a paintbrush, whatever you feel comfortable with, the appropriate piece of paper, right? Because if you have a paintbrush, it's kind of hard to be doing on like a, a legal pad or a sticky note, which, Hey, maybe that's how you want to roll. Maybe that's how you want to express a picture or a painting of love. Sign your name, take a picture of it, put it on Facebook and tag me. I'm super looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Super looking forward to it. Your blinds and your windows cast one heck of a cool looking shadow on your hands. Ah, oh, snap. As one of the masters uh, said many, many years ago in the Arhatic Yoga Retreat in New York, she says, your hands, meaning us as healers, your hands are holy. And you could feel like the reverence and you could feel the beauty of her expressing that, that your hands are holy. So you see your hands as these hands alleviate suffering. These hands heal. These hands bring love into the world. I never forgot that. That was eight or nine years ago. But I never forgot that talk. Your hands are holy. 
So you have to treat them with respect. You should be awesome at this one, Tina. Ah, uh, Tina's the drawer, huh? The drawer slash painter. Oh yeah, she has to do it right-handed. Tina, you left-handed. You're one of those left-handed creative people. That's adorable. So that's our challenge for today, guys. Relatively easy. Don't be shy. Look, this is the challenge. You're like, I'm not a good draw, Christian. That's fine. Christian, I'm not a good painter. That's fine. Christian, I'm, I, I don't know how to express love in a physical form on a piece of paper. That's fine. That's why it's a challenge. Some of you will be like, oh, this is going to be easy peasy, nice and breezy. And others are going to be like struggling to produce anything. It's okay. That's why it's a challenge. She's the creative one. Uh, oh, you're ambidextrous. What's up? Balanced both hemispheres of the brain dot com. So I'm super looking forward to seeing what you guys produce. Haven't painted in ages. Aha, Adrian. <laughs> this is your time. Um, right with you. Okay. So Elena is also what? So that's our challenge. One last time because there's nuances. One last time. So challenge number 23, you're painting or drawing a picture of love with whatever tool you want to use on whatever kind of paper you want to use. You sign your artwork like any professional would. You take a picture of it, you put it on Facebook, and you tag me. Easy peasy. Okay? Looking forward to it. And you have 10 hours to do it. Elena is super creative. Whoa. All right. Extracreative.com. My creativity is not in this. My creativity is in, the, in this. Higher creativity and expresses through speech, which I'll get into a little bit more detail as to why I'm not a drawer or a painter. <laughs> uh, thanks, Adriana. I'm glad you guys enjoy. I feel the energy, the, the group really seems to enjoy this challenge. And it's helping soften everyone's energy because we're we're painting love, right? We're painting or drawing love. Okay, join us as awesome challenge. Good, good, good. So in the next fifteen minutes, we're going to be doing our twin hats meditation at eight thirty a.m. Mountain time. And you're awesome. I have left. You're fine, Adriana. You got this, girl. Um, we're going to be doing our twin hearts meditation. The link is below this video if you're watching it live on Facebook. I'll put the link above this video if you're watching it live on Facebook. It's the same link for the meditation each and every day. And then today we're writing our newsletter. Yay, we're doing the MCKS Pranic Healing Newsletter uh, edition 313. Dun, dun, dun. Over six years of writing the newsletter. Can't wait to see everyone's pictures. Yeah, you guys are going to be all up in it. Best get after it then, Adriana. <laughs> yeah, Chris, call her out. <coughs> so sweet and i will see you guys over in twin hats um love you very very much for those of you who need healing feel free to reach out to me directly at christianarlong.com it's my name it's my website it has all the information you need to know to make an intelligent decision whether you want to sign up for a consultation or sign up for a healing session we do it all online distantly and uh i look forward to helping you with that so christian long life enhancement consultant wish you a beautiful day a beautiful week and a beautiful life Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.